Today we're checking out One Piece 1103. I think we're finally going to learn what's the deal with Kuma and why did he end up like that? Yeah, lots of stuff to learn today, hopefully. Yeah, should be interesting. So with that, I'm Mike. Tasha. And we are Billy and Barry, and let's get into this. You guys don't know what's waiting for you. <laughs> what once was worry is now anticipation for them to go check out the ship. Yeah, try it. Go, go, Sasa. Sasa. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, there's Zoro having a nap on the deck. Uh -oh. I, I hope Zoro wakes up with a just immediacy. Just... Yeah, he'll like sense the attack. Yep. Or he'll just sleepily block it. Oh! <laughs> oh, jeez. Damn. <laughs> I love Zoro <laughs> so much. Fresh from a nap, too. <laughs> He's uh... still waking up. <laughs> Giraffe no son. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's excited. Security returning? Yeah. おい、<笑><笑><笑> この島を出ましょう。え、もう出国。<笑><笑><笑> <laughs> Robin with her doomsday. Uh -oh. oh boy. She's not entirely wrong. Yeah. He just hasn't been killed yet. He's gonna kill himself first, jeez. Better get to talking, Gramps. Playing on his sympathy, maybe? Yeah. Meets Kita. It's a trap! Distorted <laughs> <laughs> future. Whoa. Oh. So she can, like, alter her body. Yeah. Mm. She's like, Bonnie, false. Uh oh. Uh oh. What on earth? 
Did you just turn him into a baby? But why did he drop loot? He's got all the chaos emeralds. Hmm. I want the truth! Dude. He deserves to know. Yep. He is trying to get over it. Oh. Oh. Were you hiding? Right. Nothing to see here. Oh. It's got a freaking paw print on the door. Maybe I was right. Maybe the real Kuma's in there on life support or something. That'd be interesting. Oh, oh. Convenient. It's like the powers of the rust rust fruit built into her own. What is it? Maybe that's his humanity, like he extracted it like he did Luffy's pain. Oh. Maybe that's like all of his emotion and memory, like in a special thing, oh. just like he did. That would be... oh wow. Meanwhile, kids having a time. Uh, <laughs> what is that? There's something in the distance. Is it the Skypia shadows? Ooh, Elbaf! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, we've been waiting for that! Always in some little garden. Garp! What? <laughs> he does what he wants. Oh, he's gonna go get Kobe. Oh, I've forgotten all about this plot. That's right, no way Garp was gonna leave him hanging. Right. Get on board, boy! Mm, giddy up. <laughs> gonna go rescue Kobe. Yeah. Let's go get him back. <laughs> yeah! Go get him! Boy, Garp versus Blackbeard is not a matchup Blackbeard would want. No, but I Garp also don't know that Garp could fruit. win it. Yeah, but Garp doesn't have a devil fruit he can steal away. He's all hockey. Well, yeah, but, I mean, all he has to do is sink him into darkness. You know, it's like, sure, it's not but, like his stuff doesn't work on Garp. But I don't think Garp would allow that to happen. Well, he certainly would fight against it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, part of Blackbeard's power is fighting people who are so used to their devil fruits that they rely on them over heavily. And then when it gets taken away, they don't know what to do. <laughs> Garp is the exact opposite. He's all hockey, and he can take on the King of the Pirates. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I think uh, 
That's not a good matchup. And I have a feeling Garp is a lot stronger than we've ever seen him be. Well, yeah, he probably obviously takes it easy on, on Luffy. Well, yeah, Luffy, but, I mean, we've seen him And fight. that's all we've really seen him fight. Well, we've seen some flashbacks of him, like, fight Whitebeard or Garp, or uh, not Garp, um, Roger, Roger a couple times, I think. Hmm. I don't remember now. Or at least the aftermath of it. Maybe the aftermath, yeah, like when uh, Roger got put in jail and Garp came to see him and yeah. everything. We saw that. But as far as him, like, throwing punches and stuff, it's usually just him beating up Luffy. <laughs> yeah. And of course, he, he's his grandpa. He's going to take it easy on him a little bit. Yeah. That is so cool. Garp's going to go rescue Kobe. <laughs> and Elbaf. Ooh, Elbaf. Yeah. Why did it have to be Kid that made it there first? <laughs> yeah, really. Usopp is due a visit to Elbaf, man. Like... That has been where he is supposed to go to become a great warrior of the sea since Little Garden. Yeah. But I'm just happy that somebody's there because, you know, we get to see it. <laughs> yeah. Land of the Giants. I wonder if they will be welcoming or if they're isolationist. Maybe with Harudin going back to, like, reform the giant pirates. Yeah. Maybe they'll, Maybe their first question will be like, What's your relation to Straw Hat Luffy? <laughs> I hate that guy. All right, you got to die then. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> they just start attacking him indiscriminately. Just, nope, you don't like Luffy? Well, you're done. Uh, you're done. Because we like Luffy here. We are a, a pro-Luffy country. Well, we know that Harudin's pirate crew is pro-Luffy. Pro we don't know if <clears throat> the entire country will be pro-Luffy. But I'm guessing because of... Um, Oimo and Kashi, and um, the two from Little Garden. Like, that's four different giants that have had interactions with the Straw Hats that ended positively. Yeah, that were good. Was it Bro... Brogi? Yeah. Bro Brogi, yeah. Brogi and... No idea. Huh? Can't remember. I almost remember, guys. I forget everything, and I almost remembered it. Ah, so tell me what their names are. I, I gotta, I gotta remember. I think you're right, though. I think it's Brogi. Yeah, I know that one. So I, I... remember Koimo, no, Oimo and Kashi from um, Annie's Lobby, and then Brogi and oh, oh, pick me, pick me, the other guy <laughs> from Little Garden. <laughs> Oh, what's his name? It's gonna kill me. God, he's gone. There, um, there. No, he's gone. It's all right. He's gone. It'll be okay. No, no. Oh, no, it's just nowhere in my brain. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dory. Oh well, I oh. did. I did pretty good. I remembered three out of four. That's that's stellar. Yeah, that's me. that's three more than I was gonna remember. <laughs> <clears throat> about the only thing about Little Garden I remember is the. Uh, uh, Usopp's lie about a giant goldfish actually coming true. <laughs> Yeah, really. He told a true story and didn't even know it. Yep, telling Kaya all those lies and then actually lives it. There you go. He made it true. And then Kaya will still be like, yeah, that's, that's, that's great. That's great, Usopp, yeah. Well, whatever you want to say, I, I enjoy the story, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so Kuma, I'm assuming that is that... Giant paw symbol mm -hmm. thing is yeah. gonna be like when he extracted all of Luffy's pain and fatigue and yeah, made Zoro whoop, eat it, whoop, whoop, right? Whoop, yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So when Zoro touched it, he took in all the pain. Mm -hmm. This one, like, I wonder if Kuma touches it, if he'll just become himself like, again. Re, re, yeah, become himself. Or maybe if that's maybe... why he's so desperate to get back to it right now. Like he just has this directive to to go get it in his program way somewhere back underneath everything. I don't know. I did uh I did realize something though that I didn't think about before in that I don't understand why he didn't when he paw pawed himself and he was flying across the ocean. He didn't have the protective barrier that he put around the straw hats. And it made it so that they went through mountains. They went through trees. They went through everything. It just poof, 
And then when they landed, it was like a meteor crater, but they were completely unharmed in the middle. So why wasn't he able to punch through, what is that, the red line? Yeah. Yeah, the red line, and just go bypass Marie Joy entirely. Like, why does he have to climb the mountain to get up and over the other side? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. Dramatic effect. Yeah. Because really, even if he didn't have that barrier, as he's approaching, he, he would really just need to, like, paw-paw himself at a diagonal to, like, give him some upward thrust, go yeah. straight over the wall, and then as he's done, like, paw-paw himself on the back of the, the shoulder or something and start something, veering him. Like, like, there's got to be more that he could be doing, and he's yeah. just not. I mean, the only thing I could think of is that he's not functioning on all cylinders right now so yeah. maybe he's not totally thinking logically because everything he's doing is a is a desperate grasp to just do whatever it is he's trying to do i'm assuming it's get yeah. to egghead island but if he wasn't broken he could probably handle things a lot different yeah. even if he couldn't do that trajectory changing he could still like send out an ursa shock yeah, just ahead of you know, ahead of the wall. Yeah, to like create a a reverse force that slowed him down or something. Or just have planned the paw paw to land him at the base so that he landed in his own meteor crater, stood up and was fine, just yeah. like all the straw hats did. Yeah. So like, he didn't have to take <clears throat> all this damage. Yeah, he was not doing well as it was and now he's busted even further and now he's taking cannonball fire and the preview showed him falling again so is this going to be another situation like climbing zo where they just fall 10 15 just times endlessly going up the derp dragon uh, yeah i didn't enjoy that part yeah, don't remind me of that that was that was bad times I have a sneaking suspicion that is the anime padding it. Like, they cause a few extra falls it's the anime that didn't happen screen. in the manga, maybe. Yeah, it's the anime loading screen. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, they fell again. Find out next week if it, they make it. Oh, they fell again. It's the anime equivalent of when you're in a video game, you have to go through a short, a, a, a very skinny crevice and just like, <laughs> do this for like 30 seconds. <laughs> Even when it doesn't make sense. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I like your idea that that is Kuma's essence. And just the way that Bonnie approached it with such like reverence, like she knew something. So yeah. that's got to matter. That's got to be something intrinsic to Kuma. And the fact that Vegapunk was like, whoa, whoa, that's nothing to see here, folks. No Kuma. That doesn't have anything to do with him. Disregard the paw paw on the door. Like, yeah, it's clearly something very important to Kuma. So I expected, though, from the preview that we were going to see more of the backstory. Like, they barely said anything. And yet the preview, I could swear, showed a little bit more than that. But maybe not. Maybe it just showed a little tiny scene and we saw that and that was made to seem like more. But I wanted to see more. Yeah, it's just a tease. It'll get to it, but... Yeah. But now we have a Straw Hat thread. Mm -hmm. Well, we have the Vegapunk Lab thread. We've got the Straw Hat ship thread. Mm -hmm. We've got the Kid thread. Mm -hmm. We've got the Law thread that has just been Dangling quiet out for a there. while. Now we've got Garp heading towards where Law and Kobe will be. Yeah. And, yeah, we've got a lot of crap happening. <laughs> hmm. I can't wait to see Garp, though. Like, I'm so glad that happened because Kobe and Helmeppo are, are kind of like his adopted boys, you know? <laughs> He's got to go save him. I'm so mad that nobody else would go for Kobe. Like, come on. This is yeah. pathetic. Ah. Uh. Somebody's got to go get Kobe. He's a good guy. <laughs> I can't wait to see Garp go into Pirate Island and just start wreaking havoc. <laughs> just I wanna, start punching I, stuff. I want to see, like, his true strength. Yeah, yeah. Just like I want to see Shanks' true strength. Like, I want to see him actually trying. A real fight. I want to see yeah. him fighting something and not just, not just being feared because he's in the general area. Mm-hmm. But... 
I I have a secondary feeling about that. Like I don't want to see that fight be with Luffy because Luffy oh, yeah. has such a deep relationship with him since he saved his life and sacrificed his arm. You know, I I don't want to see the fight be that Luffy has to fight him. Like that yeah, feels bad. One scenario. I will accept one scenario. Okay. Luffy and crew have everything they need to go to Laugh Tale and finish their journey. Mm -hmm. But the road between where they're at and Laugh Tale is very treacherous and may be the hardest that they've ever faced. And so Shanks stands in their way and says, I need to verify that you are, in fact, a great pirate before I let you proceed. And so it's, it's not like an animosity fight. It's yeah. a test of strength. And if not you, to the death. No, but if you can beat me and your crew can beat my crew, mm -hmm. I, will, I will stand aside and let you proceed forward. All right. That, like the rite of passage type thing, yeah. I would accept that. I, I could accept that. So but long I, as I there's think, nothing to the death, there's no, no animosity. Like, I don't think there's I any I don't want to see any bad blood between those two. No. Ever. <laughs> yeah, unless they pull the rug out from under us and... And tell us that Shanks has been a bad guy all along and he just puts on a nice guy persona? They better not. I know. They probably won't. That would be... Uh... <laughs> I love Shanks. Don't do not do that. No. Yeah, that would probably cause riots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give us our good guy Shanks back. Mm-hmm. Don't ruin him. He's, he's a wonderful character as is. Yep. They already did a little bit of uh, fast and loose with his character in that he was a dad and Uta's his daughter, you know, like, since when, <laughs> you know, they, they retroactively slid her into the timeline. I have deleted film red from my brain. That's not canon to me. You can't. It is canon. That's the hard part. It is canon. Yeah. And, I mean, the TCG is just going to keep pumping out Uta cards forever, so you're stuck with her. <laughs> Not a fan of Uta. <laughs> he hates her. <laughs> her music was catchy. The, yeah. The, the movie was... was interesting, but her motivations were dumb. She's dumb. Yeah. She was... She had the beginnings of a good character and then just wasn't very well realized. No. Because... You get to a certain point, and then her motivations are just... Well, I won't say anything in case you haven't seen the movie. Film Red. Check it out. Yeah. Anyway, I guess that we should stop yammering so that uh, we can actually put this out and have it I, viewed by I people. Think, I think so. I'm starting to hear a thunderstorm outside, too, so... Getting there's, a lot of There's a good really. chance that as we're filming, we'll just lose lights and stuff. Uh-oh. So, I guess we'll end it here. So... Yeah, uh, you know, do all the YouTube stuff, the likes, the comments, the subscribes. Yes. We love the comments, so keep them coming. Just no spoilers, as always. <laughs> We've got a lot of TCG content coming up mm -hmm. here. We got, uh, we're actually about to film a, uh, a slew of Beckett orders that we got back that yeah. we've been slacking on getting a video out for, so we're going to be doing that all at once just now. And then, uh, yeah, we've got cases of product to open in the next couple of days so we're gonna be buried under cards we're gonna be very <laughs> very busy yes so but we will try to keep up on the reacts because i know not all of you are here for the tcg so yep. don't worry there will still be content for you as well and uh hopefully we can make everybody happy <laughs> <laughs> that's right i'm mike tasha and we've been doing very we'll see you next time bye guys